All right, let's talk sports right now. Team 12's Lena Washington is here, and uh, we're still talking, camping with the cards. Yeah, and it's a good time for the fans to cool off inside State Farm Stadium. If you want to check out the Redbirds in action, it's only day three of training camp. There aren't in pads. The players told us they don't really have or know any of the expectations for this team this season. But one thing we do know is that first-year head coach Jonathan Gannon is looking to keep that same energy and enthusiasm throughout all of camp. And he's looking for that out of his players as well. JG set the tone from the moment he landed here back in the Valley in February. His energy level hasn't let up since. One thing we've heard repeated from players is that they feel a culture shift since JG arrived. The guys in the locker room are responding to his enthusiasm heading into his first season at the helm and Gannon says that setting the standard early is pretty simple. Culture is how you, the people in your building, how you behave on a daily basis. So it's nothing more complicated than that. So you're either behaving in a winning way or you're not. So I think as long as you set the standards for what that looks like and, um, you know, point out the good and the bad and learn from it and, you know, challenge them, I think that's really what pro football players want. And now it's time to bring in Team 12's Luke Lidd and joining us live from State Farm Stadium. And Luke, when you think about players who help build that culture, Buda Baker is the first name that comes to mind, right? Yeah, ding, 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 right? We know building the right culture is a process that takes time, but building a culture around Buda Baker makes it a whole lot easier. Now, we all thought maybe he wouldn't be here on the field for training camp due to those contract issues, but those are in the rear view. And like he told the media for the first time today, I am all in. And those are the words you want to hear from the leader, the heart and soul on this football team. Now, according to reports, he did not get the new contract that he wanted, but he did get a $300,000 signing bonus along with a chance to earn up to $2.4 million in bonuses throughout the season itself. Number three, back in the field like he promised for day three of training camp, and just his presence alone is one that cannot be replaced. As for this uncertainty this offseason, Baker says he was focused on one thing and one thing only, and that was the work. You know, just had that tunnel vision. And for me, I've just been grinding, you know, letting the outside noise be the outside noise and kind of laughing at it here and there. But just understanding that uh, if I put my head down and grind, everything else will take care of itself. That's what I'm always going to continue to do till I can't do it anymore. And hopefully that's many years. I'll continue to work hard and continue to grind this thing out. How do you not love that man, right? Buddha with the big smile because he says now the focus can turn solely to football and no more noise about his contract. Cards fans should be happy because Buddha's happy and now that entire dispute about the contract is now done once and for all. And of course, coming up later on 6 o'clock here on 12 News, we'll hear from the teammates and about the presence they appreciate Buddha has on the field each time he steps on the gridiron itself. Lena.